today. From Lumen Field in Seattle. It's week eight of the NFL on EA Sports. closer toward the midway point of this NFL season and we're underway on EA Sports. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Herbert off of play action. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First carry here for Kim Walker. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in a yard. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Herbert. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Meanwhile, Herbert throw into the hands of Pickens. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Throw out wide to Walker. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. The Seahawks at 6-0. What a start to the season for them. And they have certainly got it rolling as of late. Winners of six in a row. And I think this is where, as a head coach, you show your team some trust. Instead of just talking about winning, you know, the very next game, you point out to them, we're on a nice run here. And if we keep doing this, we'll be playing at home in the postseason. And we know that that can ride us all the way to the Super Bowl if we get that done. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. Now a first carry for their fullback. The tackle made there by Kyler Fackrell. A good solid game there on first down, but the defense has to be happy. They didn't let it pop for anything bigger. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Up the middle, here's Walker. Calling a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Walker. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Herbert going to keep it on his sneak. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. After the run, now Herbert to throw. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks are on the board first here this afternoon. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points in the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Remember oh, yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Myers connects on the PAT, and it's now a 7 0 game. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Browns 
Vikings under head coach Kevin Stefanski. Leading the charge will be their quarterback. Always fun to watch, Deshaun Watson. On a first down, Watson. He gets this complete to Cephas. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. To throw is Watson. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Watson on first down. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. That play just looked a little helter-skelter from the start. That's the risk as a quarterback. Once you take off with that football, you might fumble it, and he did. And he was going for the reward, which is gaining yardage, breaking down the defense, but you're right about the risk. Always lurking out there, someone always trying to get to the football, try to find a place to cover up and slide and protect what you've earned. Walker now on first and 10. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They get 17 on that one. Move the chains. First down, Seahawks. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Heck of a move, but only able to work his way down near the 23. Give him two yards that time, and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. They're going to try the jet sweep on third and long. And he's going to be taken down short of the first, right around the 15-yard line. And he gets a good chunk of yards there, eight all told. But they're still looking at a fourth down. Myers' kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Browns drive about to get started. Coming off every player's friend, the open week from last weekend. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Even if you're coming off of a loss as they did, the open week is exactly what you need after you kind of get over a little bit, right? Rest up the mind, rest up the body. Get yourself ready to go. And they have to be eager to play again, especially since they lost the last time out. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Chubb on the counter. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down, here's Chubb again. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Watson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, when well, we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Yeah. 
So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one that goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now a draw play. It's Walker. Tackle made there by Miles Garrett. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains. That means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They'll try for the first with Walker. And he's going to have a first down on a gain of about 10, and that'll take us to the two-minute warning. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. But Charles, you know, something we talked about last week, when you start believing whether you're in the midst of a special season or not, well, now they're at 6-0. and Are you still trying to tamp down the expectations in that locker room? Well, to me, it's less about tamping down expectations and much more about not getting ahead of yourself as a team. And look, they've got to play each game individually, right? Many teams talk about being 1-0 at the end of each and every game each week. To me, you got to understand, you cannot win the Super Bowl in October. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Seahawks will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. The extra point now coming from Myers. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. That time, a nine-play drive. And it all culminates with a Seattle score. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. The Browns drive about to get started. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Watson. And he wisely will throw that one away. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Watson's throw into the hands of Peoples-Jones. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. On first down, it's Watson. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. This stadium once registered as the loudest roar ever recorded, and you can hear him now, third and goal. Again, it's Watson. Being chased out left. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. 
A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. I'm here all day. The final shot before the break for Herbert. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And this one is incomplete. So we are at halftime here in downtown Seattle with the Seahawks out in front. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Hi again, everybody. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the league here in the unofficial midway point, week eight of the NFL season. We'll start things out with an NFC matchup down in the Southwest as Chicago is in town to take on Arizona. And that game is tied 10 all in the second quarter. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting Jags who are out in front. Christian Kirk, a touchdown reception. Finally, let's get to Silicon Valley to check on the 49ers at home at Levi Stadium. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Lions. Brock Purdy has thrown a touchdown pass. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half for the answer? We turn it back over to our broadcast team. The Browns going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. For the Browns offense getting set to go to work here to start the third. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the group. Taking it right down Broadway. 30, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Browns come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Looking to maybe throw for it here, Watson. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back with it, a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving a fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Straight ahead, Walker. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at the Browns 37. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Here's Herbert. Oh, leaping, and he makes the grab. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. 
I like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit them quick. A little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. And able to get this to the 31. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Well, that call makes sense. Boy, missed tackles continuing to plague this defense, and they surrender another big play and a touchdown here. Yeah, by my count, at least two guys had shots at it, maybe even more than that. But this defense, they've looked out of sorts all game long. That was definitely not one of their better efforts right there. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Browns set to take over. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Second down, here's Chubb again. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. 108 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Now a first down throw, Watson. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up second down. Here's Watson. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and ten at the 49-yard line. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Now it's Watson. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Going to get this one down to the 30. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second down, here's Chubb again. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Seahawks 22. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. And the Seahawks have recovered. You, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit to the defense, though. You're out there for that one. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? I like to credit the defense and the offense. I like you and the analysts. That's perfect. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run, pass, mix, and everything's working. That means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, 
Maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. And 79. 79. To throw again on second down. Herbert. A leap and he's got it. He got it. Pass the 20. This is and all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf. 77 yards. And the Seahawks add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches, and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But sometimes athleticism beat you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? Just go long, <laughs> man. Yard. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. And here comes a return for just beyond the goal line. And tackled at the 21-yard line. So a net negative there of four yards. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. Hey, hey, tight end right. Watch tight end. On first and ten, Watson. In the middle of the traffic, and that's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and ten. Now Watson. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. Here's Watson. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. And I don't know that that fumble's going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here on the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. Now Herbert following the turnover. Pick on the slant. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Taken down here just shy of the 30. Looking to throw again on second down. And oh, that would get a wide up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. Third down coming up. Throwing in a traffic there. That's complete. And finally down it goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. You better move it, team. To the air again, Herbert. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense cut crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it down. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Seahawks are closing in now on a seventh straight win to start the year. Now Myers for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. And 
after the touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Drop deep, drop deep. Back to throw, Watson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. There for the sack, B.J. Hill. Following that sack, Watson and the Browns backed up for a third and long. He'll look to throw. And he is going to be taken down. They got him. As that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. Fielded at the 20. Good footwork at the 30. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. They're going to pass here with Herbert. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. That one good for 37 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. That's going to be caught. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game, and they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the fourth. They certainly are. And yeah, this will be caught, and the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, business as usual for them, well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes the return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Browns drive about to get started. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Watson down to throw. Forced out to his left. He's got a man complete. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Throw left side, caught by the tight end to Joku. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. 
Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead is down to 24. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And what is this? They're lining up here to punt on first down. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. One last throw here for Watson. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League, but fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan, they all scout, they all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So for the Seahawks, their winning ways continue as they get it up to 7-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on Washington. 